Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good Memorial weekend. So um, I'm filming this on a Saturday night. I meant to do it earlier, but I got lazy. So um, here we are. So today I am going to show an um, basically a collective Amazon haul. Um, this is probably about a month's worth because there was a stretch where I wasn't ordering much and then all of a sudden I decided to start ordering stuff and then I couldn't help it. So I went ahead and just waited until all the packages come in. And then when I finally decided I was going to film this video, I had made another order, but I'm not going to hold off um, on filming this because it, I, I need to go ahead and and put it up. All right, so let's get started. So the first two things I'm going to show are a stamp set and some dies. And these are from um, Stampers Anonymous and Sizzix. It's from Tim Holtz collection. Um, this is the, uh, what do you call these again? Ticket booth. This is called Ticket Booth. So this is, these are the stamps, okay? And um, it's a pretty big lot, as you can see. Now, I've already been getting those um, bus or train ticket, ferry ticket type of uh, um, ephemera from um, AliExpress. I did get some from there. I got some from um, our atelier. And then my friend Clarissa had gifted me some also. But um, I also wanted to get these because they're a little bit bigger than the ones that um, I had purchased or was gifted. So um, I've been wanting these for a very long time. This has probably been in my cart, you know, saved a cart kind of thing or saved for later for maybe like the past two years. So I finally decided, okay, might as well get it. So got the stamp and the matching die set. So I plan on um, making some like ephemera, um, booklets with these. So we'll see how that goes. Let me move my battery out of the way. Put those there. With that, with this, I also ordered this stamp set right here. Um, these are kind of like botanical looking stamps. Um, it's actually a bit bigger than I thought they were going to be and I'm glad because I didn't want them to be really tiny. These are wooden stamps, so here we go, okay, as you can see there, um, is it red or white? I can't remember. Brown. <laughs> so, but I, they, they look like they're going to stamp good. Um, these will work well in my Hobonichi. Um, and then we've got here also more, okay. This, I think I got these for $13.99, I want to say at the time. Um, I think the price has been fluctuating on those. So the next thing that I got are more stamps. <laughs> this is, um, these are labels. I want to really take them out because it's, uh, they're already kept in there really nice and I'm not going to use them right away. So I got these because once again, I'm going to make some label books booklets with them. I've been seeing people doing these on Instagram and I wanted to make my own and maybe gift some. So I got this set and I think this was $18.99 or $17.99. I can't really remember. Um, but they're, uh, they're exactly the same ones that I've seen other people use. So next thing I got here was this washi set. And I think I got this for $6.99. I don't know if it's focusing. Let me take it out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I liked it because it was green for one, but you don't get a lot, so beware. I mean, look at that. That's how much you get on each roll. So I have to be kind of sparing with this. I don't care for the little skinny washies, but um, I primarily got them for these two right here and the other one too, because I like the designs on them. Um, that's upside down. This one here has like, let me put these down. This one here has like the mushrooms. Oops, there we go. 
so mushrooms and you know they're just very um they're illustrations and i think these look really good as far as like my, my layouts in my hobonichi so 6.99 it's not too bad i guess i mean it is what it is you know it's just kind of hard to tell sometimes how much you're going to get on a roll especially when they don't really say how much per you know per roll so yeah i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm not going to reorder okay you lose one no okay so there next thing that i got which was an awesome buy I'd like to uh, thank Paper Terraces on YouTube for um, showing this in her Amazon haul. These are, um, what do you want to call these? It says Antique Bookstore, but it's really, um, they're like miniature versions of pages from um, various like vintage books or newspapers. So, let me see. There we go. Sorry if the camera's shaking there. Um, here, I'm going to take one out. So you can see there's like a total of 60 sheets in each packet. Now, this was a really good deal because you get four of these for $10, basically. So this is one. So it's like a, it's almost like a craft paper kind of feel, but it's thin. And this was obviously from a children's book. So it's like a page out of it and you know it's good for um junk journals it's good for your you know a layout or on memory decks or whatnot so like this one right here like i said it's from a children's book it looks like you get three of each as you can see And it comes in different colors of craft paper. So children's book. This looks like it's probably like from some kind of a botanical or guide of some kind. I don't know if it's all just um, botanical illustrations and um, references. This one right here. Um, this one is like a dinner menu. It looks like these are actually restaurant menus. Oh. Damn, because I had I'd only opened the one up of the um, children's books. Yeah, look at that Hotel Del Coronado. Um, they are. They're like menus. This one's off of a railroad. This one is a cafeteria lunch menu, room service menu, tea room menu. I don't know if this is all focusing me out. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure where that one is it from. Christmas Day menu. Oh, this is awesome. There's even a Chinese one. That's funny. Um, I love this. Never seen that one before. Like somebody, you know, posting, um, selling like the menus, vintage menus. I might have to like reorder another pack of this once. Um, when I went back, when I was telling my friend Clarissa about these, I looked to see if they still had it in stock and it was all sold out. But um, yeah, if they do sell them again, I'm definitely gonna buy some more because that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so moving on, I purchased, um, what did I do here? Okay, these are some wax seals stamps. The only wax seal stamps that I have, I've purchased them from um, Hobby Lobby because they were on clearance. So these are kind of my first non-Hobby Lobby, I guess you could say. This one is a mermaid seal, as you can see. It's so pretty. This is pretty big, actually, for a seal because the other one that I got um, is a little bit smaller. And... Um, Paper Harris's had also shown this on one of her videos. This one has got um, like mushrooms, as you can see. So when I hold these two together, you can see just how much bigger the other one is. Let's see. So yeah, I got those. Put that there. Okay. 
Um, oh, I forgot to also share this with the uh, Tim Holtz stuff. So I purchased this too. This is, um, what do you call it? The pocket, the stitch slots. That's what it is because this would work really well inside like a travels notebook or just, you know, your journal or whatnot. So I got this and stupid me. I should have bought it when it was on clearance over at Hobby Lobby, but just like, nah, I don't need it. And then of course I need it. So <clears throat> let's pull out. I've got two more things to show. Um, cause I got the wax seals. I went ahead and purchased a wax, um, a wax kit. Hold on one second here. Okay. I'm back. So here we go. So this is, um, a wax kit that I had purchased off of Amazon. It, um, it's pretty much a complete kit. Sorry. I didn't realize I was not on frame. It's pretty much a complete kit in terms of like, you get your, well, it, first of all, it came with, I believe, two seals here. So this one is thank you, which I honestly don't really need because I don't like the style. Sorry, I think that's how it goes. And then this one here, which I have a feeling I already have because I think it was included in a kit that I got from, um, Amp, from what was it, Hobby Lobby? I can get it out of the packaging. Um, it's a rose, you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like a typical rose that I've seen on a lot of other, um, websites. So got that, got the wooden handle. And then here is the burner holder. I don't know what they call it. So looks like that. So you just place a tea candle underneath so that you can set this thing that would hold the wax beads on there to heat up and then you can just pour it okay so obviously wax beads okay in different colors and then this is my first time actually kind of like opening everything i think this is the uh, what is this oh it's some candles too as if i can't get any are all smashed up. Look at that. Probably not going to use this. Yeah. I'll probably just toss these because they're already a freaking mess. And I have some um, from Dollar Tree and I think I have some also from, uh, what do you call it? Um, Ikea. I might, I don't even, actually I don't even know where the Ikea ones are, but I am planning on going to Ikea tomorrow to look for a printer, like a table for my new printer that I'm going to order. So, um, maybe I'll pick up a big pack over there. And then they also sent these metallic, um, pens, a silver and a gold so that you can, you know, color in the detailing on the seal. So let's see, how do these look? Okay. Just your standard. Pens. Yeah. I probably have some like these in already so anyways oh and the last thing that it came with was these envelopes which i was telling clarissa i don't need these but clarissa if you're watching this i don't know i think i actually might keep them because in the pictures on amazon they looked really cheapy but now that i have this pulling out these are actually really thick metallic um like thick metallic cardstock yeah see so would make excellent for like, you know, sealing. Um, yeah, I might keep them. I don't know. Or I might just send them to her. We'll see. Cause I did say I was going to, but like I said, um, they look cheap, but we'll see. <laughs> Sorry, Clarissa. Anyways, then the last thing that I ordered, hold on here. You, let's put this away. Clear off some of the table here. Probably not going to get it all in the same way that I have. I'm gonna toss these. My trash is over there. Um, this goes there. This one I'm gonna have to. Yeah, those envelopes actually. I'm just gonna leave them out because that's what taking up all the space. Oh my gosh. There we go.
Okay, just trying to make room here. Last thing I got, which is kind of funny because I'm already using one, is another ring light. This was on a, a lightning deal that had like $4 off. I think I got this for eight bucks or something, but it's a clamp style. Cause the other one that I have is I think a 12 inch. This one is a lot smaller. I think this is eight inch, I'm not sure. But um, I liked it because it has the clamp. So if I can't bring my other one, then I can always use this and just clamp it on anywhere. So um, actually, you know what I could do? I could use this for my camera also because I think this might work. I'm sorry, I'm out of folk, out of uh, range there. This might actually work with my um, camera but I'd have to see. It's a ball clamp, so. But anyways, um, yeah, and this is pretty sturdy. It's hard to, um, to clamp, which is a good thing. And then once again, this also has, it's USB, so this is the light right here. Yeah, it's really small. Now where the heck, oh, I see. So it's gonna go right here in terms of like, putting it on. Okay. So yeah, so this is another alternative. I might even just clamp it onto this um, camera stand that I'm using or actually, it's actually a microphone stand that I bought from Amazon. And I think I got it for like 12 bucks and it's perfect. If you're wanting to do overhead shots, um, like the way I'm filming right now, this is the way to do it because then you can just mount your camera on it and you don't have to worry about the camera being behind you on a big ass tripod. The only thing about having this mic stand is that you do have to, um, I mean, it's got a pretty long arm. So even if I did this like on a dining table, it probably would still reach, but I would not use this with a DSLR unless I have like a sandbag attached to the other end so that it won't, um, tip over. Okay. But, um, yeah. Anyways, this is the Amazon haul and um, I do have more stuff coming in, um, like I said, but I'll probably just do that as a separate haul, okay? So I'm gonna try to edit this and put it up tonight. Um, I'm actually really tired, but I wanna get this up on Sunday morning for everybody to see. And I've got a couple of more um, videos that I do need to go ahead and film so that way I have content for the next couple of days. All right, um, like I said, hope everyone's having a good Memorial weekend. All right, bye.